Hello everyone. A lot of you asked me lately on Instagram how to make that little folded art book. So I thought I should make a tutorial video about it. If you want to make an art book, you will need some artworks, of course, in a square format, seven in total. But you can also make a personal sketchbook out of it by using only blank paper. Before we start, here are the things we'll need. We will need some paper of course, for this video I use Mondi Color Copy that is an office paper that's suitable for printing with colors and it's a bit thicker, but if you have the choice take a lighter kind of paper because that will help with folding later. We will need 7 pieces of this paper. Next we need hard cardboard. You can either buy it or do it like me and take it from the back side of an empty watercolor block. Then we will need a ruler out of metal and a sharp cutter. And of course glue. You can use bookbinding glue, but a regular glue stick is alright as well. Just make sure the pages won't get wavy from the glue you are using. Last but not least, if you want to make a little art book, you will need a printer. I am using a Canon PIXMA IX6850. In the past I have had some troubles with printers by Canon, but this one is working alright so far. Now the trickiest part, getting your data ready for printing. Since this artbook's layout is somewhat extraordinary, we will need to slice our images into quarters. On this graphic you can see how to arrange your work for the front side of the paper and below the matching back side. So zero will need zero B as its backside, page one will need one B as its backside and so on. So in the end, when you hold your paper against the light, you can see the whole square shaped area is actually filled without any gaps. But if you are going for a sketchbook with blank pages, you of course don't have to rack your brain about this part at all. Once we have all 7 sheets of paper arranged and printed, it's time for the next step, which is cutting out the squares. Since my printer tends to be a bit inaccurate regarding the position of the image, and yours will probably be to measure and mark the points before cutting, to make sure you end up with perfect squares instead of rectangles. After that use the cutter and the metal ruler. You can of course use scissors for this, but personally I am not that precise with scissors. With those pages prepared we can finally start folding. I made a little help out of cardboard for that, to get the angle right, but that's totally optional. This process is not as complicated as it might seem. I will try to explain it using this graphic. The red lines are valley folds and the blue lines are mountain folds. You did it right if you can slot the single pieces together like this. Now that we have our inlay, we can take measures and prepare the cover. Mine is about 11 times 11 centimeters long. So I draw the square on the cardboard and cut it out using the cutter and the metal ruler. After that, glue the single pages together. As I said, you can use a regular glue stick for it or a special glue that won't make the paper go all wavy. I surely had some difficulties because the paper I used was a bit too heavy, so I recommend you try different types of paper. Finding the parts that belong together shouldn't be difficult, especially if you are making a sketchbook with blank pages. Just try to overlay the quarters that belong together as accurately as possible. So there's no white line visible, unlike the mess I did. When you have glued all the pieces together, put a big book on them and let it dry. It's time to customize your cover. You can use a non-stretchable fabric, fake leather or as I did for this video, print something on glossy paper. I choose Max and Chloe from Life is Strange because that were the only square sized artworks of mine left. Put a bit glue on the cardboard and place it on the back side of your fabric or image.
cut off the excess paper of fabric and glue the flaps on the back side, so the sides of the cardboard are covered as well. Repeat that with the other piece and the cover is done. We now just need to carefully glue it onto the inlay of the book. And we are done. Unfortunately my piece isn't as accurate as the first book I did, that I showed you from the beginning of the video. That was in part due to my choice of heavy paper. But you get the idea and you will do it better for sure. And as I said you can use fake leather for your cover to make it appear more classy or you can leave the pages blank so you have an extravagant sketch or notebook. Regardless I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching.